The Salernis PRP kit provides everything needed to prepare Salernis PRP. Using venipuncture, blood is drawn. Blood draw will stop at the 11 milliliter mark shown on the tube. Ensure the 11 milliliter mark is reached because the correct ratio of blood to anticoagulant in the tube is important. Ensure anticoagulant is mixed with the blood by inverting the tube three to four times. Salernis anticoagulant ensures patient comfort with a pH of seven. Added dextrose contributes to longevity of the platelets. A centrifuge must always be balanced. If using only one salernis tube, fill the balancing tube with water to the level of blood in the salernis tube. Both salernis 11ml and 22ml blood draw tubes can be used in the salernis centrifuge. A white spacer inserted into the bucket ensures a snug fit for the 11ml tube. Salernis PRP is centrifuged at 1500 RCF. The speed or revolutions per minute required to achieve 1500 RCF will vary according to the size of the centrifuge rotor. Ensure your centrifuge can show the RCF reading and do not follow the RPM reading only. Salernis advanced and unique gel separation technology ensures red blood cells and catabolic cells remain trapped below the gel. Salernis gel formulation is unique and proprietary and ensures that the platelets and anabolic cells you want are retained above the gel. The Salernis gel has passed all regulatory tests and does not contaminate the PRP. The purpose of the pink filter needle is to immediately relieve the low pressure in the tube by allowing air to enter. This will make it easy to withdraw against the tube vacuum. The very small pore size of the filter needle maintains the integrity of the Salernis closed system. Please ensure that the needle is in the airspace above the PRP. During centrifugation, platelets collect in vast numbers directly above the gel. The plasma towards the top of the tube has very few platelets, described as platelet pore plasma or PPP. An important step is to redistribute or resuspend the platelets back into the plasma. This is achieved by gently rotating the tube to lift the platelets off the gel surface. Rotate the tube at least 20 times or more. The disc filter, with its special pore size, is attached to the syringe and then to the long sharp needle. The disc filter ensures additional removal of unwanted granulocytes, while the long needle enables easy removal of PRP without removing the Salernis tube cap. Insert the long needle next to the filter needle. Withdraw PRP by either inverting the Salernis tube or holding the tube at an angle to reach all the PRP. An 11 milliliter blood draw produces between 6 and 7 milliliters of PRP. To withdraw PRP into a smaller volume syringe of your choice, a lure to lure adapter can be used. The Vlow unit dose syringe is shown as an alternative to standard injecting syringes. This syringe significantly speeds up the injecting process. A set volume of PRP is injected with each click of the plunger, reducing injecting time by half. Prepared PRP will have as many platelets per microliter as the patient's platelet count. Platelets do not multiply themselves in the tube. With Salernis PRP, it is very easy to increase the platelet count to an optimal outcome level by simply removing platelet pore plasma from the top of the tube immediately after centrifuging. Removing 50% of platelet pore plasma will increase the platelet count to approximately 1 million platelets per microliter. Set aside the PPP and attach another syringe of your choice. Keep the disc filter in place when attaching new syringes. After the platelet pore plasma has been removed, the important step of resuspending the platelets must take place. 
The resuspension step will distribute these platelets within the smaller volume of plasma. High concentration cylinders PRP is now ready to inject into areas where a high level of growth factors will produce optimal benefit.